Try and stay on. She's having a bit of a move. Oh. Oh, oh. Hey. Jump in, start the engine. Uh, cross your fingers for today, Tanya. Everything's crossed, even my toes. <laughs> Hi guys, this is part two uh, of uh, trying to help a horse and a lovely uh, mother and daughter. Uh, daughter's Robin who bought uh, recently, it's only, I think, four four months ago, 16 weeks, uh, bought a, a, a big 13-year-old um, horse to take her forward and do some eventing uh, and things like that. And Robin's mum, that's Tanya, not Tanya like my Tanya, Tanya, um, she's there and really tries to help, uh, 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 you know, help things go forward. And help Robin out. Now Robin loves horses. She put together all her finances to purchase this horse, a big 17 to 13 year old horse, and things have not gone well. Okay, things have got what not gone well. There's a part one, I'll show you that now. So part one, there's a few clips from part one. Ah, not down there. Ah, ah, not down there. That's not going to do it for you. Not. All right, just rub on him. And look at his height. Now, this visit that you're seeing now in this video, it's about three weeks in between the first visit and the second visit, and I left a list of, um, you know, little exercises for... Robin to do with her horse and this is uh, the, the follow on. This is real life, a uh, big deal for this horse because it does bolt when it sees the trailer, uh, the doors open in the trailer, it, it, it bolts and you know, it's done it in, her, in the saddle as well. Things are not great, but they love the horse already. That's what happens. Uh, and uh, you know, they've got the horse now and they've got me in to try and help and move forward. So uh, I'll start the video now. Uh, uh, yeah. What do you think? Hmm? What are you thinking? Right, I'm thinking, well, I'll just quickly explain. This is the track that, it's quite a long track where this panic, panic in, panic of holly course is at the end of this track and it's too bumpy to bring the horse down. Uh, you know, I really feel with this one, it's too bumpy. So I think we've got to lead the horse down, see? because there's not people all the time here. This is a dead Hopefully end. Hopefully not. Yeah, so park it here and then um, load, load the horse. I'm just hoping it doesn't oh dear. Uh, run off. That's how I was just thinking. Uh, cross your fingers for today, Tanya. Everything's crossed, even my toes. <laughs> You're going to have to clean your boots again later. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, so here we are again. I forget his name. Uh, Oh, there's the tie, look. Hello, Did we leave that there last time? Uh, oh, there's two ties. Right, don't let me forget my stick. Well, Mum must be yours then. Um, yeah. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> right, OK. Apparently, he's not anywhere near his mouthy. Eh? No Good. hand feeding. Fantastic. Since I was last here. Right, there um, you go. What you always say. Come on. Yeah, he went back there nicer. Right then, okay, don't push forward. Don't push forward. Right. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big boy. He's a big one. He's a big one. And your mate, huh? Is this the one I done last time? Right then, it'll fit for now. It'll fit for now. Right then. Right, okay. Have you rode since? 
Yeah? Right then, so very quickly, did you put the hay net in? Right, okay, yeah. So all I'm doing, have you, what have you, kind of things have you done? Lowering the head? Yeah, lowering the head. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> lowering the head. <laughs> oh, you're right, good. Yes. We're tapping the sides? Yeah. Okay. Uh, disengaging the hindquarters. Yeah. Stop. Oh, he seems a, seems a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more at peace, a little bit in here. Do you think, you know, tell me if I'm right, or, you know, he seems a bit quieter, doesn't he? Yeah. He seems a little, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, I definitely noticed a change in him. Um, the next three tiny clips are from before, showing how agitated, you know, how impatient he was. He was very mouthy, nipping at Tanya, nipping at us, and I definitely noticed a big change. And the main change changes made were to stop the hand feeding completely and ask for personal space more with the Boingin stick. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely a good change. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah. So we add the height. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. If he's impatient, then I mean that's just. I would definitely, uh, uh, you know, make that a consequence. Been a little bit then. He doesn't yeah. wind suck or anything, does he? No. Uh, but he he does he he doesn't bear down on anything. And okay, guys, back to the video now. Okay, mate. Uh, right then, are you ready? Okay, so. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm always have to be ready, Tanya. Right, my stick's there, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. We only had one event where I tried to tie him up there and then he buggered off and then he ran into the neighbour's hay this year. <laughs> he did what? <laughs> I was trying you to tied him up? Yeah, to then tack him up. And then he just, as I was fiddling around with that, he walked, just crossed off in that direction. We didn't have a fence there. And then he went, he crossed <laughs> over the mound into the neighbourhood. His little bolty field. belt. Yeah. Oh, did he? And then he wouldn't let me catch him for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to catch him, I lowered his head and, they brought, and then he took oh, well him back to the hedge. Oh, well done. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, tip, put them on first. Yeah, and then, okay. and then clip on. Yeah? yeah? Right, lovely. Right, okay. Right, let's go then, Tan. <laughs> Come on. Good man. Good, good such man. Good, such a good thing to be able to just leave them and they're yeah, fine. They're fine. They're good Brilliant. <laughs> it's like when Steve goes out with Rolex and Chevy. Jimmy has a little whinny, but he's fine, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right then, so we're all geared then. Right then, okay. So. Um, so. Yeah, I was just going to. I actually bought, I bought uh, my red thing, you know, my red uh, for it. But yeah, you put that, that's great. I was just about to go and get it. Um, so our system, remember, is Robin in there, making sure you can get out with the door. And I'm going to pass this to you when he's in. And you're going to clip on. And then I'm going to shut up, all right? Yeah, you can leave that there. We can put that in after. All right. So what I'm doing here, I'm just disengaging him a few times, stopping him, backing up his feet. This is like a ritual you'll do. Just a little ritual. And then I'm going to ask him for his feet forward. Cluck. And the feet forward. This is the one you said you'd have in a little bit of trouble with. Um, stop. Feet forward. I'm going to bring him over here now. And we'll see. All right, I'm going to give you that. Clip on, yeah. Make sure you can get out just in case. 
right? I'll tell him how good he is. What do you think of that, girls? What do you think of that? Brilliant. Right, we're going to want, leave him wanting now, so give him, unclip, unclip, unclip him, give him me, and I'm going to bring him out slow. All right? Okay, right. Now, watch what I'm going to do with, um, look what I'm doing on this side, and I'm looking down on the ramp. Right, brilliant. So I'm going to put him away now. I'm going to go and put him in his stable for two minutes, and we'll go and get organised, all right? Okay, he's on me a bit there, so when he's on me and in my space, I'm just going to, I need him to stop when I stop. He just, you'll see it, he, he just sort of. Yeah. But I think, I think you've done something because he's a lot more chilled out than he was. Well done. You know, seriously. Well, I'm noticing, because the last time I was here, he was all over me. Yeah. Uh, and vet mouthing me and he's not, so. But we'll go and put him, because he can have that thought now. That's brilliant. Right, I've just remembered the name of this horse. It's Artie. Art is the name of him. So, so far, guys, on the second visit, considering how difficult it was to um, get him to go in the trailer last time uh, willingly and the way he bolted off and things like that, so pleased. Uh, you know, there's a saying where you finish his more often than not where you start again. Uh, so we finished on a good note last time. Uh, Robin has done lots and lots of little bits of groundwork in the stables that she hadn't, hasn't put the horse on the trailer. I said, don't do that, but stop all the constant hand fe feeding and um, you know, do your little bits of groundwork. There was one hiccup where he did run off from her over the field, you heard that earlier. But other than that, great. So I'm chuffed at the moment. So we're giving Artie a little break now, and then we're going to set up the trailer down in a in a yard. Um, I thought we were going to do it at the end of the bumpy track, but we're not. It's the it's a yard just to the left uh, once you get down to the bottom of the track. We're setting up there. The next clip you'll see us walking the horse down and setting up, ready to hopefully um, get Artie to to go in the trailer and hopefully travel without panicking. Uh, once you get moving or once you close up, so crack on. And okay, let's get set up then. <laughs> okay. No, he's not. You can be a good boy. Oh. If Tanya parks. Her car there, yeah, then the we'll turn that? around and follow you once you get going. Okay. So if you, uh, yeah, if you go there. Okay. Oh. Right. Put that there. Yes, boss. Put it there. Yes, boss. Hang on there. Lovely job. Thank you. Whoa. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Well, true to form, it happened, guys. Artie just looked into the trailer, head went up, and that once that once a horse that big straightens itself out, Robin has zero chance of holding him. And that's what's happened. He's 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 bolted off up onto a lovely lawn up there. Oh dear. Right, okay. So we've got to go and catch garden. him now. I don't think you can get Is that somebody else's garden? Oh, that's all right then. Well, I'm glad he didn't go all the way home. So you need to go there, look, to stop him going past my truck. You're a little bolter, aren't you? You're a bolter. Dangerous. Right, and then if you grab the stick. Oh, 
Now, can't put him straight in while, he's, while his heart's banging away. So we're just going to chill him out a little bit here. Now, he might bolt now I turn him. Right, because he can see that. Hmm? I'm staying up here out the way. Yeah. I need danger money. Right, can, 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 Tanya, can you stand there and you throw your arms up to stop him going that way if possible? Yeah. You get in now. Yeah, you'll have to give me the stick. All right. Are you in? Okay. Got it? Got him? Take that as well. Oh, sorry, right. that's the car. Keep him there. Don't, no, no talking. He's done that trick a few times and it, I bet he's done it before. Right, lick. Stick that in there. Are you ready, Tanya? Make sure you can get out if you had to. Go on, up we go. Up we go. Is he clipped on? Right, you get started up. You ready? Come on then. This is the big one now. Jump in, start the engine. Go on, jump in. Nice and steady, keep going. Straight in guys, went straight in for me. He's got a certain amount of confidence from me now and from the bit of groundwork I'm doing. I took hold of him when he bolted and I checked him a few times to make sure he bent in the rib cage a little bit, disengaged him. Basically, I'm directing his feet in a way that's really connecting with him, that I'm alpha and I'm worth, you know, being guided by. Now, things are just to make, to move forward now. I don't think Art has ever travelled backwards, which is what those sort of trailers are, they always travel backwards, but most horses cope okay with that. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter how, Calm, I might kind of put this front on how calm everything is, right? Get going. I am absolutely crossing everything and just hoping that there's not an explosion because there could be. Um, horses that panic. The last time the girls put Artie in a trailer, they had to get him out really quick because he went absolutely panic, totally panicked trying to get out and that to let him out. So they know what can happen. I know what can happen. Um, I've said, like I said on the last video, I've seen horses smash the way out of a trailer like that. Hey guys, here's just a few little clips I just grabbed um, from some of the archives. There's loads more, but these just show you when horses uh, are panicaholics and claustrophobic, it's very difficult to get them over a problem where they've managed to escape trailers. Uh, and these are just a few clips now to put to to explain how frightening this can be. Dad. So I'm there just hoping that he holds it together and they start their journey back to our house. So let's see how we get on with the journey now. Now, this is, this is it. This is it. Let's see how it gets on. He's moving around a bit, but Hopefully, it'll be okay. Right, okay. Wow. What? 
wasn't that excitement. Um, he has he has learned that behaviour yeah. of bolting off. Oh, sorry, I've not only in back. hand, in saddle. Now yeah. what happens is they get so used to alleviating all the pressure by bolting. Mm -hmm. So obviously he was getting worried there. Bolted. He had a little bit of grass up there. Everything's fine for a minute. So it's that's another problem, really, isn't it? But uh, anyway, let's uh, just. I've explained all of the all of the um, pros and cons today. It is a risk to do what we're doing, and it's a risk that you're either willing to take. If if that horse can't be travelled, then the only purpose he has is to ride from here, and the reason he was bought Preventing. was to take. Robin. Take Robin forward with the vent in. Um, it's a real shame if it doesn't work out. But let's uh, let's see. I was pleased he didn't panic. Was you? Well done. They're driving nice and steady there, so that's good. Well, all seems quiet on the western front at the moment, Daniel. I can see him. He was pulling hay a minute ago. We're about 15 minutes into the journey. I was going to go in front because I've got some things I need to do because it's a good, would you say it's an hour oh, and a quarter would... in a, a horse? Hour. Ish, ish. Hourish. But we're going to follow, we're going to follow and I'll, I'll rearrange what I've got to do on the way back. So, with Robin, Robbie, Robin, <laughs> and all the history of him pulling away from her, he'll do it again. Do you agree, Tanya? Absolutely. He's going to do that. So it's not going to work. It's not going to, I don't feel like it's going to work doing it the way we've done it this morning. So I'm gonna suggest that the track, there's parts of that track which is fine, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I suggest they get it's a load just of stone the bottom, really, and suppose. get the bottom done. And I think they're gonna to have to feed him in that, that trailer, feed him in it regular, and then shut up and go from where they are. Because if he bolts, he can't, he'll only bolt round to the stable, or if they put a little, something there, he, he won't bolt with it. Do you agree with that, Tan? Yeah. So they've got to go with what they've got. It's going to be easier. Um, but I couldn't do that today because it was too rough to take the horse down that, uh, that track. So let's see how it goes. This is, this is reality. This is real. Uh, you know, this is not just part of a job. This is trying and to get further. She's got her tack. So what we're going to do when she comes to ours, let him settle down a little bit. Yeah. Then she's going to ride him to simulate her going to a show, going to some event. Because if not, yeah. it's not real, is it? It's not real. This is real life. And this is a big test. And if it doesn't look, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. At least, you know, Robin's done her best, got us in. We're doing our best. You know, I'm feeling quite confident. Are you, um, how are you feeling? Yes. Okay, so it'll be a simulation of taking the horse out. I think the first time, if this all goes to plan, the first time he goes out without me being there, they should come to mine again. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah. They should come next week or something, put them all in, make sure I'm going to be there, come, little ride around again, and I'll watch them. I'll stay out the way, and I think they get can get that done and then feed him in it regular. I think they've got they've got a chance, but we haven't got today done yet, so. Just uh, fingers crossed now. Dot, he's having a bit of a moving around, but there's no noise noises, there, so that's a good sign. That's always a good sign when you see Haverford West, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, we're about three quarters of the way now, aren't we? So, it's quite a long journey back. You know, that's what we wanted. Okay. It's no good having a short journey somewhere where he's still, you know, um, bothered and his heart rate's up. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Maybe even further, but a good hour and a half in the trailer. Hopefully be settled enough um, to get, it's where, remember it's where you finish, not where you start. Every, with, with horse training and horses, it's where you finish, not where you start. Robin goes in the back now, and me and you will decommission. 
and uh, he's not kicking about so we won't if he was kicking about we'd leave him in there a bit longer but so if you if you go in then right then and then we'll rub on him now really good is that he's not pull it pull him that way and then just rub we'll, we won't let him out till he uh, de-stresses all right we'll rub on him The good sign is, he's not all sweated up, isn't he? What do you think of that? Now, if he goes through a little bit of a panic, we don't want to get him out yeah. when he's too that upset. Teach him if I panic yeah, so if we can, ah, 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 ah. Um, so we'll just take no, not too much nose spin for a minute. Okay, right. Now, if you undo that, yeah. but don't let him turn around, so just, just, you want to do that ready, all right? Okay, and then ho ho hold it so he doesn't, if I give you that. I've just had a thought. What? Do you think I should go and shut the front gates? No, all right. Okay. Oh, keep, keep his, uh, what's it there? Then you're gonna pass me, pass oh, me oh, this. Oh, oh. No, that's my fault, guys. I didn't put the clip on there. That could have been an absolute disaster. If you watch closer there, it really bumps into his side, his rib cage. Boom. And you know what? He held it together. That's when I thought, this is... I really feel confident now. We want now. to come out of like here. Now, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. That's really what you wanted. To come out slow. Right, if we shut that. Yeah, where the hell is he? Okay, right then. So, we'll just let him chill out now in here. Just to settle down. He's seen the other horses there. Oh, they're still out, aren't they? <laughs> right, well done. Huh? <laughs> so, so, can you, can you, can you see what, what went, what, what, yeah. much? No, we couldn't hear him. When we first we went. Him, just yeah. a little bit there, and then he settled down. Yeah. Um, you wanted that kind of journey, yeah. so he had chance to die. Yeah, it's slow. And you went quite a far. If you did, if his heart rate was so bad, and a lot of people do these little journeys, yeah. sometimes it's the worst thing you can they're do. Stressed mm -hmm. They're stressed. They, they, they come out yeah. when they're stressed. But he's got a hay net there. Look, yeah. uh, there's some hay net there. He's got plenty of water. I just take. We've all had a a break, a cup of coffee, and what a great sign. I'm looking at all the positives now. He's come out here. He's travelled here quite well. He got out not too bad. And my horses are all in and he's not too bothered. He's eating. He's had a drink. There's lots of good, lots of good here, guys. So now we're going to get him ridden. So it'd be just like going to a show and see what we've got. All right then, guys. He's all tacked up and ready to head down to... The round school down there, and we'll simulate a little bit of riding, and that's exactly what you'd have when you go out to a show or some eventing. So, and as you can see here, we've using the tie just in case he got a little bit upset and tried to do his running off thing that he does. So that's good. And he's been he's been waiting there patiently for, for ten minutes while. We get all tacked up. There she is. And considering mine have just come in, I'm just really pleased with what I'm seeing. He's fallen asleep. Lovely. Yeah, he's falling asleep. <laughs> huh? Right then, let's go. Today. Now that's clever. That's clever because what she's doing there, I didn't have to ask her, is to lead him round each way. That's a nice uh, touch, that is. And I've got this. Yeah, I'll go in and then. Uh, yeah, that's good. Robin. But that's nice. Look at that. Lovely. I'm thinking of all the good things here now, guys. That's lovely. He waited for her. That's lovely. And he waited for you to... Do you know what? Huh? That's brilliant. Do you know what I would do? I'd get back off, walk him around and go back to it because... And then give him a rub. I really would, because that was just fantastic. 
Yeah, jump off. That was awesome, wasn't it? But I've said the kind of thing we do, we get off and we give him a rub now, walk him around and then, so there's something in it for him. I didn't expect that, did you? Said in the arena he wasn't great, didn't you? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, okay. Straight back to it then now, straight back. Now I am so hoping this all works out for Robin and Tanya, uh, Robin's mom. I mean, they are so nice people, and well, most people we go to are. But you know, Robin sat down with me and she explained a few more things on this visit. Now, they bought um, Artie as a project, uh, as a riding project, and were kind of told that he did have a trailer and issue, but that had been all sorted out. Uh, not not a worry now. Well, obviously that uh, has resurfaced, this problem. Uh, they hadn't been able to take him anywhere in the trailer in four months, which is what they, they've got plans on trainers uh, to help her uh, move forward and into the event in. And they can't do any of it, guys. They're absolutely stuck. Uh, but they did buy him as a project. And um, Robin hasn't had one ride in an arena in the four months she's been out hacking but not one ride in an arena and i asked how the arena ride went she said well he wasn't that forward going um complained about going forward a little bit and uh was kind of she was trying to get him in canter and started to buck a little bit but she wasn't sure whether it was bucking she wasn't sure but anyway they bought arty and things haven't been great although they think the world of him so this is the first arena ride as such that uh, Robin's had and uh, you can see what you think guys and uh, yeah right okay awesome and then back on and he stood there again so it wasn't a fluke was it <laughs> Lovely job. Yeah, just have a little, just have a little ride round. Do whatever you want to do, yeah. and uh, yeah, good or bad. Just that you've come out and rode him, and then we'll load him up when you've done. I I've only ridden him. The only time I've ridden him on a surface was when I tried him. You, oh, the only time you've ridden him in an arena is when you tried him. Yeah. Wow, guys, did you hear that? This is the first ride. Wow, <laughs> first ride in an, on an arena surface for three or four, four months. So, uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of where horse uh, Artie in this situation is saying, no, I don't want to go forward. Obviously symptoms are caused. Now there, Artie's head's gone up been asked to go forward the tail swishing is the first sign the pressure was off there a minute um, when Robin explained something to me then she's just about to put pressure on again uh, there there's the heels going on in a second now head is gonna go up he stops his tail swishes he's saying I don't want to go forward this is not good for me and he's expecting some sort of battle I'm sure symptoms of causes Now, just to show the difference, guys, I've added a couple of clips here where the attitude, these are my horses over the last few years, the attitude of asking a horse to go off the leg or collect or, or leave the reins alone, loose reins, it's the attitude and the willingness. It's a big difference between what you've just saw and it's, you know, symptoms of causes and I think that the correct training can really help this. And there, a loose rein, just nice and free-flowing, lovely, lovely expression. And there, working off the leg with some laterals, just a quiet tail, bright expression, a willingness to do what's, what's asked of them. And this is in a demonstration here. Again, a quiet tail, a nice willingness to move forward. Um, yeah, lovely, really lovely. No, and there's uh, Nita, my retired horse nose who's pregnant, but the way she just, yeah, loose rein, doesn't speed up, 
lovely expression going forward and then willing to collect up again. No, uh, you know, um, swishing of the tail or just doing everything that's asked willingly because she knows what's being asked. It's clear. And this is a big horse, a big quad horse, uh, Cody's name was. Again, um, I did quite a lot of work with him and he, he was willingly, um, being willingly guided and um, a beautiful expression, not worried about too much. And, um, you know, working off the leg, doing a job for me, expression and moving forward here, look, just a willingness to just move out into a canter. Lovely, lovely when it's right, guys. So that's telling me that when he's gone forward, people have used his mouth to balance. Oh, dear. You with me? So I might just pick up my stick a little bit and cluck on. So start clucking. And then rub him. Then I would bring him down to a nice walk. Rub him. Cluck him on. Okay, he's throwing his head a bit. So lots of transitions really. So cluck him again. And rub him. Rub him. Just that's it. And then down to a walk. Down to a walk. Now rub him again. Loose rein if you can. Yeah. Only we pull the reins when things are better. Um, and again, lift your body up. Life. Oh, now rub him. Now how better was that? Yeah. So I would do hundreds of those in an arena where you, you let him know that when he goes forward for you, there's something in it for him. Yeah. Because I could see him getting crabby then. He was going to get crabby, but there's ways of helping that. Yeah, now change rain. Change rain. He likes the stretch as well. So yeah, change rain. Look at where you... Oh, you're coming across me. Oh, yeah, yeah got you. Nice. And then back down. I'm only saying this coming back down a lot because once you get him knowing that there's something in it for him when he does move forward for you, He'll start moving forward better yeah. because that not wanting to go, it's coming from somewhere. So I would uh, work on lots of that and again. And a little rub. That's a better attitude, isn't it? Does that feel nicer? Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't bother with any of worrying about an outline too much till you've got him going forward. Now, um, I did ask Robin about um, the physicalities of Artie and they've had obviously been vetted. Uh, they've had the chiropractor, had his back checked, done all the physical checks. So he's got the physical um, okay. And, uh, you know, you'll see some, some behavior now that doesn't look great. And already what you've seen He's a little bit gangly and a little bit sort of head upside down, I call it. He's not soft to the bit and isn't willingly going forward. That straight away are signs of, I mean, usually that kind of behavior is a symptom of causes. So there's been some parts of his training, which sometimes it's no fault of the trainer, no fault of the owner. Things just don't go as good as they should. And a horse can become very resistant. It could have been pain related in the past, uh, but things are not looking great there. And now I know deep down what, what's needed, but it's very time consuming. You know, I'd, I'd need Artie um, with me for two months riding, bringing him up to fitness, working on softness, working on rib cage bends, working on lots and lots of things and all of the foundation exercises. It's not gonna happen. We don't take horses anymore. But there are a couple of really good trainers up by Robin. Um, hopefully they can help. If, if Robin can load Artie and take him to these trainers. So that's what this all revolves around, being able to travel him for them to move forward together. That's the way I'm reading it. Hey. Try and stay on. <laughs> 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 
Keep going. Go. Yep, you got your lead. Give him a rub. There, now let him relax because that's the point he stopped his... The re, give him a rub there. Right. And just let him have a... Just, just let him go around. Think about it, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Rub him, rub him. Your first canter in an arena. Feels very odd. Yeah, he's quite, he's quite a gangly mover, but that would get better once you've, once you've got him soft in the, he, in the pole. Yeah. And he's a little bit hard to the pole. Um, do you want to do it that again? Boy, little rub. He can cover some ground. That's the eventing bit. The eventing bit that is. Okay, change change direction. Keep the momentum going if you can. Yeah. That's good. So that went okay, but it's also answered a lot of questions. And uh, yeah, let's just hope it all goes okay. How oh, brave was Robin? Right. Fair. And things got better, guys. It started off more Western, a lot more Western than you saw there, but finished off really, you know, Artie was starting to accept a canter on both leads. And, uh, you know, I think what might have happened before, he, he started bucking like that and people kind of quit, kind of get worried, which is quite normal. And then that's kind of becomes a learned behaviour. But we pushed through that um, and ever so brave of Robin and she finished off smiling really and you know being able to pick up a left lead a right lead and kind of get with him a little bit so you know it really does look good I think for her if she can travel him and start having proper lessons with professionals and, and, and come on right way. first ride in an arena well done uh, he's tied up there like he's done this all his life <laughs> is he going to run off? Is he going to run off? Is he not? We will see. Uh, I think he'll be fine. Right, so what we're going to do, Tan, if you come in the trailer. Oops, sorry. We put a little bit of wet, look, nothing dry. It's virtually water, so we don't want no colicking. And we put one of the licks in. So, hedge your bets. Is he going straight in? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Tanya? 100%. Come through here. Whoa. Sorry, Tom. Loading the knee bean on this side. Take that. Okay. Got in there? Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okie okay, doke. Can. Can no, those vibrations and frequencies, he knows you two. He knows your voices when this has been come on, not this. He knows that makes him go, hang on, this has happened before. Yeah. Your frequencies, they know the different voices. That's why when you talk to him when you're riding, I went up and out because he's been a little bit funny about going forward, hasn't he? I wouldn't talk to him. Eventually, of course, yeah. That's just my spiel. Right then, girls. Well done. Thank well done. Watch how you go back. That's it, Tan. So there you go, guys. Loaded straight up. That was a proper simulation of going somewhere, riding, and then reloading. Everything went brilliant. He didn't make a murmur as he was going out the gate. And uh, we just hoped then, crossed our fingers again. And then we had a message back uh, a few hours later. I think it was about an hour and a half's run um, back home. And... 
apparently he didn't murmur. He traveled brilliantly. He wasn't sweating up and, and they unloaded fine. Really great scenario. So as things move forward, I will do an update as things move forward. Now, as it stands, um, Robin's going to set the trailer up at their house and they're going to feed Artie in it once every couple of days and try and simulate a little bit of groundwork before they put him in, bring him out, crouching down, looking at the ramp. It's very much how he comes. It's more important how he leaves and how he goes on. And, uh, and then the next time that they actually travel Artie in the trailer, they're coming to mine again. We're going to rendezvous. I won't go over there. I'll stay here. Uh, and they'll just pull in and get him out again. At least they know then they've done it on their own. And then I'm here to help load and give a little bit of confidence. So that's it, guys. That's the end. You know, will the bolting issues ever completely uh, dissipate? Probably not. It'll probably resurface every now and again. That's what happens. Uh, you can get it less and less and less with the groundwork, lots of bending. You know, there is a case sometimes for using a bit uh, to lead them in. I don't like doing it, but, you know, uh, you might have a tiny bit more control like that. Uh, not that I'd condone that, but that's just something that, that may help in that situation. And uh, that's it. That's that's the scenario. Just hope, hope it works out for them. So how can we make a positive out of Robin buying um, Artie? I'll tell you how, how it can become a positive. And I did say to Robin, um, there's a saying, the perfect sea never made a great sailor. And certainly the perfect horse never makes the best horseman. And so that saying is very true. And Artie will teach, um, teach Robin an awful lot. So she will benefit from, our, from our, um, Artie, without a doubt. You know, and I, I, we all learn from the difficult ones and then come through it, hopefully. So I'll be off now, guys. I hope you enjoyed that that video. And uh, we this today is Monday. We leave on Friday to go up to Essex, Billericay. Um, so we hope, we're hope we looking forward to seeing everyone there. Don't forget your chairs. Tanya keeps saying to me, uh, don't forget chairs. Uh, so And it's an indoor arena, guys. Lovely place with good food as well. So I think that's about it. Yeah, like, share, comment. We do read the comments, guys, or Tanya and Charlotte certainly do. And uh, yeah, ciao for now. Happy trails. See you soon.